What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be going over Cardano as it has recently exploded. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. So this was Cardano in one of my previous videos. It was trading at 24 and a half cents and we drew it in a massive falling wedge and we also called out the class A bullish divergence. And this is Cardano now trading at just under 38 cents and at its peak, it was just under 41 cents. So had you guys taken this trade, you could have made up to 67% gains in around a month. And if you compare that to the stock market where the average return is 10% in a year, that would mean we made in one month what the stock market makes in over six and a half years, which are actually pretty incredible gains. And if you enjoy making gains in the crypto market, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. But I will go deeper into the charts at the end of the video. So as I said, Cardano is currently trading just under 38 cents. Its market cap is 13.3 billion, which ranks eighth among all cryptocurrencies. And its circulating supply is up to 35.2 billion out of a max supply of 45 billion, which is about 78% in circulation. And if you're looking to trade Cardano, I recommend using Binance, Coinbase, or KuCoin. I think those are the three easiest centralized exchanges to use. But now we'll go ahead and get into some Cardano news. So this is their community Twitter, which has 1.3 million followers. And I'll go over what they just posted 43 minutes ago. Happy Monday. Welcome to the newest edition of Cardano Community Digest. In this week's edition, we cover Gov tool available on Sancho Net, Project Catalyst Fund 11 updates, and new developer blog series Main Street. Catch the full stories and so much more. So feel free to check this out if you guys are interested. But now what Emergo posted 12 hours ago. We're proud to announce our educational partnership with the Institute of Blockchain Singapore IBS. Through this partnership, Emergo and IBS will organize and co-host various blockchain education programs, including in-person workshops, webinars, and curated learning modules, and other courses covering the latest narratives within Cardano and Web3. And as many of you guys know, the reality of the crypto market right now is it is heavily driven based on hype and speculation. So it's never going to be a bad thing seeing companies cover the latest narratives within Cardano. And then I like what they just reposted November 24th. Community is at the heart of Cardano. 25 plus community led events were hosted around the world, bringing people together to learn, celebrate, and share new ideas. And as I've said in pretty much every Cardano video I have ever made, one of the biggest reasons I am bullish on Cardano is because of the community. I'm not here to say Cardano is my number one favorite project, but I genuinely believe they might have the best community in all of crypto. I see Ada Gang in almost every comment section, but honestly, there hasn't been a whole lot of new information since my last Cardano a video. So now we'll go ahead and go over some macro events that could still directly affect Cardano's price action, even though it's not directly correlated to Cardano. So this is Watcher Guru's Twitter. And there are two main things that I want to cover. And the first one being that the SEC commissioner says there is no reason for us to stand in the way of a spot Bitcoin ETF. We have heard a lot of reporting in another matter that has gotten a lot of attention regarding a spot ETF, that there is ongoing conversations between issuers who have filed some of these applications and individuals at the SEC. And I wonder if you can shed any light on on how much you as a commissioner might be involved in that, or really if this is just happening at the lower uh, staff level at the moment? You no, know, again, I really can't comment on that, but I think I've been very transparent that I've, I've thought for many years now that, that there is no reason for us to stand in the way of a spot Bitcoin exchange traded product. Now, if you guys have watched my last couple of videos, you've already heard me talking about this, but a lot of people believe that that is directly correlated with what they posted November 21st. So the US government criminally charges Binance with the following conspiracy, conducting unlicensed money transmitting business, and violating International Emergency Economic Powers Act. So the rumors right now are that the SEC is not going to approve a Bitcoin spot ETF until Bitcoin is under control. And obviously that starts with Binance as they are the largest exchange. A lot of people out there believe that he who controls Binance is going to control a very large portion of crypto. And now CZ is facing 18 months in prison as part of a plea deal with the US government. So whether or not these rumors are actually true, who knows? But this is definitely something to keep your eyes on. But now we'll get into some technical analysis. So this is Cardano in the daily time frame. And as I said at the beginning, had you guys taken this trade, you could have made up to 67% gains in a month. But anyways, what am I seeing right now? So the first thing is that the RSI is still pretty overbought right now. However, it's starting to reset. And then the stochastics are very oversold, which is a good sign. Now you could also argue that Cardano is starting to form an ascending triangle, which is a 50-50 pattern. And it actually has a huge measure move to just under 55 cents. Now, obviously measure moves do not always play out. But one thing that I really like about Cardano right now is if you look at the moving averages, the 21 day has broken 
above the 200 day moving average, which is a golden cross. And typically golden crosses signal an explosive move is coming. Also, price action is currently using the 21 day moving average as support. It has bounced off of there at least four different times. So unless price action starts trading beneath the 21 day moving average, I'm going to stay bullish on Cardano in the short term. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does break to the upside. Now, I do also want to be clear on one thing. If you come over to the three day time frame, the RSI and Stochastics are extremely overbought and they are also very overbought on the weekly time frame. So just understand, on a bigger scale, there is a decent chance we get a retracement because the reality of Cardano is it has went parabolic recently. And in my experience, rarely does it work out well for you chasing a parabolic move. Now, lastly, we'll go over Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. And Bitcoin actually looks pretty similar to Cardano right now. The RSI is extremely overbought, but the stochastics are reset. We've also had another golden cross, plus price action is using the 21-day moving average as support. Now, Bitcoin, you could argue, was trading in a bull flag, which break up 68% of the time, and it actually has a huge measure move to around 42,000. And honestly, unless we start trading beneath the 21-day moving average, this measure move is still valid. But again, very similar to Cardano the bigger time frames are extremely overbought this is the weekly right here where the stochastics and rsi are cooked and we have had six green candles in a row i cannot stress enough chasing a parabolic move is usually a terrible idea and it will get you wrecked so just be very careful both bitcoin and cardano are acting very indecisive right now there are very bullish indicators and very bearish indicators but as i say in every single one of my videos macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis so if all of a sudden bitcoin spot etfs get approved that can skyrocket the entire market on the contrary if binance were to crash or something terrible happened that can tank the entire market so just understand in the short term crypto is going to be extremely volatile anything can happen but that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Cardano will go next bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.